I'm joined today by Craig Wolford from City Research to discuss the changes of the lease accounting standard on the retail industry sector. Thank you for joining us, Craig. Thank you. Before we get into the broader implications, I'd like to briefly give a rundown of what the changes actually are. From 1 January 2019, there will be a change to the lease accounting standards which will require all companies to bring the value of their commercial lease arrangements, including property leases, onto their balance sheet based on the present value of the lease obligations. This will have the impact of grossing up balance sheets, um, but it will also impact income statements by replacing the operating lease expense with a depreciation and an interest expense. So therefore, key metrics driven off accounting measures like net assets, net debt, net profit, and EBITDA in particular will be significantly impacted. The retail sector will be most significantly impacted due to the nature of the contract arrangements that they have. Our global research suggests that net debt will increase by 97% and EBITDA will increase by 41% on average for retailers. 